hey guys welcome back to the channel this is sylvie from learnhowtogetascholarship.com so last week we spoke about how to get a fully funded scholarship did you get a chance to watch the video if you didn't go back and watch it because today we are going to be discussing step two of how to get a fully funded scholarship in the last video we spoke about understanding scholarship sources coming up with an eligibility checklist and also coming up with an application checklist so this week we are going to be speaking about the cover letter or the personal statement which is one of the documents documents that they always ask each time you apply for a scholarship. So how do you approach your cover letter or your personal statement? Three things that you have to remember here. The first thing is the who, the why, and the how. Those are the three things that you have to remember here. The who, the why, and the how. So let's break it down. The who. First, they want to know about you. What are the things about you that they should remember, that they should know about you? What are the interesting things that uh, they should know about you? Introduce yourself. Of course, do not exaggerate. Do not say any outlandish things that did not happen. But bring some curiosity. Make them want to meet you. Say some very, uh, like, important things about yourself about your life and then let's talk a bit about how is the process to get into that who you are just take a step back look at your life what are the things that you've been through what are some challenges that you have faced or maybe there was some significant uh, incident that happened in your life that really changed your perspective about certain things those are the interesting things that people want to know about you and i don't remember i don't know if you all watched the video that i did with the director of of ashinaga senegal if you didn't watch it you should go watch it and one thing she says there is that some people actually reduce they think that okay let's say for example that you sold in the market in order to uh, make some money to support your family people think that that is not an experience worth mentioning actually it is it is so do not take don't, don't think that you need to have invented something for it to actually be considered something curious about yourself no if those small small things that you did that were a bit extraordinary that is how you put all of those things into the whole of the question like you're introducing yourself and then the second part is you need to worry about the why and the how why are you a good fit for this scholarship and how will you help the scholarship providers achieve their goal remember as i said before a scholarship is not just charity these people are there because they also have goals they have things that they want to accomplish so giving you the scholarship is them trying to achieve their goals so you need to show them that you're going to be a good investment because sometimes these people spend millions in order to sponsor you, for example, throughout your master's or your bachelor's or your PhD. Why should they invest in you? Why are you a good fit for the scholarship? You need to be able to prove that. And also those things about I believe I am. I think No, you need to go straight up. I am a good fit for this scholarship because you need to exude that sense of confidence. And then the last thing that you have to worry about is why is the scholarship a good fit for you? You need to be able to explain that because you have your goals also, right? Let's say you've been working for a couple of years and now you want to go back to study. Is this scholarship going to help you, uh, let me say, achieve a certain level that can help you get into a particular job and through that job, you'll be able to do like better at your job or you'll be able to do uh, some good things within your community. You'll be put in a position, let's say you, you'll be promoted. You may be promoted and through your promotion, you need this study in order to be promoted. And when you're promoted, you'll be in a position to make better policies that will affect many more people. You need to be able to bring that out. So three things that are important first you need to explain your who and in explaining your who you talk about yourself then you explain your why why are you a good fit for the scholarship and why is the scholarship a good fit for you you have your goals the scholarship provider has their goals are you able to blend those things together such that you achieve your goals as well as the scholarship provider achieve their goals and think that you are a good investment you need to bring all of those things to explain and then you need time to prepare for this you guys this is not something that you're just going to get up out of a rush and you start writing i suggest you actually write three copies 
when you write the first version give it to like your friend your peer or someone else just to give you like a second idea about uh did they understand what you were trying to explain there what are their thoughts about it so give it to your peer and then after you get that feedback work on it and then write the second version take the second version to like a senior someone if you are a bachelor student take it to a master student if you're a master student take it to like a phd student if you're a phd student take it to a postdoc student and have them just give you feedback like what are their thoughts about what you have written and then when you take that feedback work on it and then write a, another version when you write that other version which is like the other like the third version of it Take it now to one of your professors, your teachers, or some mentor of yours, any academic staff. Take it to the staff of wherever it is that you are. Let that person tell you, give you information about it. How does it sound? Does it make sense? What to fix? And when you're able to go through those three ways of editing, your friend, your senior, and your professor, you will have a solid cover letter or a personal statement. You are definitely on your way to getting a fully funded scholarship because the cover letter or the personal statement is extremely important remember this is the second part of a five-part series if you haven't watched the first part how to get a fully funded scholarship where i explain uh, the scholarship uh, sources go back and check it out and next week we are going to be talking about a research proposal how do you approach your research proposal so come back please do well to subscribe subscribe you guys and come back next week such that we are going to continue this series remember it is the second part of a five-part series thank you guys so much for being here i am going to see you all in the next one cheers